Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have another project in my reuse, repurpose, how about just redecorate series. I am going to take this little candle, it's a glass candle, you can get these at the Dollar Tree, and I am going to turn this into something spectacular. Hang on and let me show you. <laughs> How stinking adorable is this? Oh my gosh, what a great little gift. All right, I'm going to show you how to make this. I have to give all the credit to my friend and downline Kathy Miller. We um, did a stamp camp this last weekend, and this was one of the projects that all of our stampers got to make. Kathy designed this, and I said, oh my gosh, Kathy, can I make a video? And she said, absolutely. So let's get started. I'll show you how easy this cute little gift is. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is bring in the cardstock layers and show you what's going on with those. I am using the Be Merry Designer Series paper. This is in the big catalog. These are just some fabulous Christmas prints. They are gorgeous. And you get a whole bunch of them. So I love these little deer. Those are cute too. So just a great pack of designer series paper that uses garden green and cherry cobbler as the colors. So I've got two pieces here of the striped pattern paper. These are both two and a half by two inches. Then I've got the green speckled paper that's three and a half by two and a half. A piece of cherry cobbler that is two and three quarters by nine and a quarter and another piece that is two and three quarters by 11. We're gonna score these two. And then some scraps. I've got Whisper White, Cherry Cobbler, our Designer Series paper, and this is huge. I only need a tiny little piece, but I didn't have any scraps of Garden Green. I'm just gonna set these aside for a minute. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer so we can score the box for our little gift candle. First thing we're gonna do on the shorter, the nine and a quarter inch piece, is we're going to bring this in and score it at a half an inch on this long edge. And then we're gonna start with a half an inch. I'm going to turn it around here and we're going to go to three and a quarter, six, and eight and three quarters. So it's basically a half an inch here and a half an inch here and a half an inch here and then these two. So we've got this one is three and a quarter and six and a quarter. Does that make sense? Okay. The other piece, the longer piece that we have here, we're going to score at a half an inch on this end. And then I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna go to three and a quarter, three and three quarters, and six and a half. Okay. We're done scoring. Now, on our shorter piece, we're gonna come in here and we are going to cut off this little outside tab, that corner tab, we're just gonna cut that right off. And then we're gonna angle the little pieces here. Okay, do you see what I'm doing there? And again, we're gonna cut this last one off. And we're gonna angle that. This middle piece right here, that whole thing can be cut right off. There we go. 
So basically we're left with these two tabs. I'm going to fold and burnish on all my edges here. I should say my score lines. Now, you could do this with just about any size of a little candle. So, little glass candle, that's all this is, and it is the white chocolate, is it frappe? I don't know. Mm, it smells so good. Frappe? I think that's how you pronounce that. Somebody will tell me. <laughs> I'm not a coffee drinker. I do love the coffee cafe gift set, or stamp set bundle because I have a lot of coffee drinking friends. So remember, when you're choosing your Stampin' Up! products, it's not always about you. <laughs> I love saying that. I think it's so funny. All right, next we need to cut a circle. This circle is going to fit this little cup. So whatever size of candle that you buy, you need to make sure that your candle or cup glass thing will fit in there. This one happens to be two and three eighths. So this is the two and three eighths inch circle from the layering circles. And we are going to cut that right out of this end that has the tab on the side. So I'm gonna put that through my Big Shot and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got our hole cut out here. And now we can start assembling our box. I'm going to add my designer series paper. This longer piece of the speckled green is going to get added right here at the top of this layer. Oops, I got it a little bit crooked. There we go. That's why I like using the glue. You can slide this around when you need to. And then these, this piece right here is going to get our striped paper. I'm just going to add that. And you could certainly do this after you have your little box put together, but it's always easier to do this while it's laying flat. So that's why I'm doing it now. And then we are going to glue this piece. I just took this and folded it in. We're gonna glue this just like this. Remember, less is better here. Now you can leave this lay down and you can close your box just like that. Isn't that an easy way to do that? Do you see how I did that? I just closed it just like that with the glue on it. And here pops up our little candle holder. Perfect. Okay, this piece just basically gets glued around our box just like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to all four tabs and then we are going to oops I can put a little bit of glue right here to help that stay in place want to make sure you've got this squared up good tricky to hold on to this but keep at it you'll get it push that down see what I've got here this is all sticking very nicely there we go here's our box and our candle fits down in there just perfect now we didn't put anything on the front because that's where we're gonna start decorating our little box. I've got one, our, one of our foil snowflakes and I'm just gonna take some glue and add that to the front of the box. Now you wanna make sure that it doesn't go below this bottom edge down here because your box needs to sit in place, right? So we're gonna do that and then with all with all those scraps that I showed you, we're gonna do a little die cutting. 
I am going to do the little variegated cup holder out of Cherry Cobbler. I'm going to cut out the large coffee cup, and all of this is coming from the coffee cups framelits. I've shown these to you guys before. I love, love, love this whole set, and I actually have a eight card tutorial that is available with a video to show you how to make each of the eight cards using this bundle. It also has a kit as an option, a card kit that you can also get. So anyways, you can find that on my blog, address is right here, but it's a really cool online class. And then we're gonna do the lid out of our garden green. And I've got the stitched shapes framelits, and I'm using the smallest oval out of the pack for our little Merry Christmas greeting. I'm gonna die cut all these and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I have my cup. This is the little cup holder, you know, like when you order a cup of coffee or hot cocoa from a restaurant, they have that little, little variegated holder thing on it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else you'd call it. Here's our garden green lid. I'm just going to put that right up here. This is so stinking cute. This would be absolutely adorable as a gift card holder, too. So I'll show you that in just a second because that's a really good idea. I am using Cherry Cobbler ink and Garden Green. And I'm going to do my Merry Christmas in the Green. I should say my Mary, and my Christmas in the Cherry Cobbler. Look at how cute that is in the two, two different colors. Now, one thing that I almost forgot, uh, these little sprigs, these are really cool. These are in the Holiday Mini Catalog. You get 12 of them for $5. They're right on page 12 in the mini catalog. And then I wanted to show you this Merry Cafe. This goes along with the framelits for the um, Coffee Cafe set. But this is the Merry Cafe stamp set. So this is where I'm getting the Merry Christmas from. And it's got all kinds of cute stuff in here. Witches brew with scream and sugar. That's all for Halloween. There's some fall elements. Apple cider. This is really sweet. Hello fall. It's pumpkin spice latte season. Love, love, love the stamp set and it goes along with the coffee cafe set. So I'm going to grab one of these little sprigs and I should have probably done this first but I wasn't thinking because I was so excited to show you this candle. But you're going to take this sprig and I've got some embossing paste here and I am just going to dip this in the embossing paste and look at the snow. This is gonna dry and it's just gonna look like snow and how cool is that? I thought that was just the neatest idea. Next I'm gonna come in here with some dimensionals and then we're gonna start putting everything together. So I've got dimensionals on the back of my greeting. Somebody asked me, um, by the way, if you ever have any questions, feel free to post them under my YouTube videos because I do answer all those questions. But somebody asked me what this little pad was that I sometimes use. This is a piercing mat. And Judy Brown, this is for you. It was Judy's question. This is a piercing mat. They're like $5. We do sell them. Um, and they are used especially with the clear rubber stamps that we call photopolymer. We use these mats and then with all stamping, they just work better, but they're a very firm like cushion. And with your bigger photopolymer stamps, like let's say you have a flower this big, they will not stamp good on a hard surface if you don't have some type of a cushion. And I just cover my piercing mat with some typing paper so that I don't get ink all over it. That's what I've got going on here. So that was a really good question. Thank you, Judy, because I'm sure other people had the same question, right? All right, I'm still letting that dry. While we're letting that dry, we're gonna bring out these cute little mini ornaments. These mini ornaments can be found on the same page with the green sprigs. They're right here. You get 
eight of them for $7.50 and they're just adorable. Sometimes people look at these types of things and they say, what does that have to do with making cards? Well, all of your stamping supplies are not just about making cards. They're about making stuff like this, home decor, all kinds of things like this. And if you use them, your stamp supplies, to make gifts, you've got the best of both worlds there. I know that I have some, some, some people that say, no, I'm not interested in making any 3D items. Ouch. And I don't understand why. Did you see? I just, like, got myself with those scissors. These scissors are so sharp. <laughs> they do what they're supposed to do, but they've made me bleed several times, and I don't think I'm going to bleed this time. Thank goodness. That's what I get for talking and cutting. This is our um, metallic thread. I'm just using that to string through our little ornament so we can get that onto our gift box. Now, the best thing to use here is some hot glue, but I don't have my hot glue gun here. It is at a stamping event, and I am going to simply take this ornament, and I'm going to tie it around my little sprig. I think my snow is still a little wet. That doesn't take long to dry, but I should have done it when I started this project. There we go. So I'm just going to tie my little ornament right on here. There we go. <laughs> that was a little tricky. Okay, I'm going to cut off these ends and be a little more careful so I don't cut myself again. Or at least try to. But hot glue on here is the best way to attach that. And I do not have any on me in my room right now. So I am just going to take a little piece of tape. But please, this, this will not hold. But just for purposes of showing you, it's going to hold right now. So, hot glue. And then we're going to do a couple dimensionals on the back of our coffee cup. Do one right at the bottom and probably one right about in the middle. We don't want to go all the way to the top because our coffee cup's going to stick off the top of our cute little box here. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking adorable. Okay, a couple more things to show you yet. There we go. All right. Oh, beautiful. Okay, these candles come with this cute little lid, okay? And this just reminds me of the whole coffee look. You know, the cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a coffee filter... And you're going to gently crumple it up, just like this. And then, you don't want to scrunch it too much. I'm just going to poke a hole in the middle of it. Kathy got these cute little straws at the party store. And I'm going to pop that straw through the hole that I just made, crumple this up. The straw went over the wick in my candle. And I'm just going to put that down in there. And it looks like whipped cream. Does it not? It's the cutest thing ever. Here comes the lid. Here comes our candle right into our cute, whoops, cute little box. There we go. Is that not just adorable? Now, what is my gift idea? This would be the perfect thing to accompany a Starbucks gift card, wouldn't it? How about if we just use some mini glue dots and stick that Starbucks gift card right on the back here? Super, super cute. So thank you, Kathy, for letting me do a video on this and share this with all of my fabulous subscribers. Remember, you guys, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp .com. You'll also find all the dimensions and ingredient links if you need to order any of these things. We have the coffee cup framelits. These are perfect for this. And don't forget about the little sprigs in the ornaments and the foil snowflakes. So some super, super cute products here to make really neat little gifts like this. So you can hop on over to my blog where I'll have all the details and photos of this. And once again, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to watch my 
wait, what? Wednesday video where I am redecorating a simple little candle. And if you would like more information on the online class I have using the Coffee Cafe Bundle, go to my blog and you'll find it. You'll see a picture of a whole bunch of little snippets of cards made with the Coffee Cafe. You click on that and it'll take you all to all the details about my online class and I have a kit that goes with it. So make sure you check that out. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye-bye.